so we're talking about Christmas trees. Christmas trees, but this this is what came to mind. I, I, the phone ban starts July 1st, real quick. Oh, yeah. little civil disobedience here. Not entirely, but sort of. Everybody in the state saying, we are going to aggressively enforce this new ban on using these electronic devices in your car. Okay, great. Every single person who gets a ticket, take it to court. Go to court. Show up. I want to see crowds of people in courtrooms every damn day until the judges can't take it anymore. <laughs> Very aggressive enforcement. You want to enforce this law? Take your ticket to the courtroom. How, how, did, how did that pass with Republicans in charge of the House and the Senate? Because the Senate sucks. <laughs> That's how it they, they, too, think they know what's good for us. Yeah. You, 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 you're talking about Bradley. This is, and this is 2014, oh. so. Yeah, okay. And, and, you know, this is... This is why I'm just about ready to say adios. Because the same, if they're uh, supposed to be for liberty and you know and all that other stuff, and then they do this nanny state, I mean, we've been writing about this crap for years, and we can't even find that there used to be statistics on accidents due to cell phone usage. Well, they there dis- was there, there were statistics. There was detailed statistics at the NH, uh, yeah. NHTSA, and they whatever took them away. Right. And you can't oh. really find them anymore. You can. Yeah. They're still there, but they used to have um, white papers and synopsis of, of things that caused distractions. And now it's very vague and fluffy and very difficult. And there's yeah. no there's no, no hard breakdowns. evidence. But um, the New Hampshire State Senate um, did not use. I mean, they use pressure to prevent you from doing roll calls. They use pressure to prevent you from doing anything they don't like because they want the right bills. But they can't use any pressure on people like Styles and What's-His-Face that left last year to get them to vote the Odell, right Odell. way. Odell. on right. I mean, it drives me nuts. They're just as bad this year. I mean, we have some better people in there, but the whole thing in the state Senate is a disaster. And as long as those people are in leadership, nothing's going to change. They're going to just rubber stamp any rhino bill that comes through there and then say, well, we were a good budget, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Right. Anyway, yeah, no, education. No, no, education. No, they didn't. And they allowed themselves Educa- to be attacked education. over it nonstop. <laughs> education. Well, I think what I think the bottom line is. Well, I think what we're starting to see, or I, I don't like. I said I don't think you guys are are shocked by this, but I think what other people are starting to see is that this governor is just simply anti parental rights, and mm-hmm. I think that's that's what you know what. Uh, what what's being exposed about her i think through through these vetoes and and um you know the union leader did a ran an article today on this particular veto and um you know i was quoted in there as saying that you know she's the most anti-parental rights governor that we've seen in a long time and um it's interesting the the, the planned parenthood uh <laughs> representative was quoted in this article too and i'm thinking why why is she in this quoted in this article well you know again this has sex education you know this is the materials but again you can see who who stands for parents and who does not, and 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 we're starting to to I think understand who we have serving as governor in this state, and and that is somebody who just stands in in opposition to parents, and and and, and you know. Again, parents, you can let your kids learn whatever they want. I mean, you teach them whatever you want at home. Teach them, you know, let them sit in the class. I don't care how offensive it is. But if the, if a parent doesn't want this, why should they be? Why should their kids be subjected to this? Or can't we just have some transparency in what you're teaching my kids? No, I mean, that's the point. They don't want you to know. Right. Look at with the Common Core, where all the tests are computerized. So parents can't see what's on the test. They right. can't see what the correct answers are. And, you know, you've probably got more examples than what we've posted, but we we see these absolutely execrable examples of what is the right answer. Today's word is execrable. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, it's a good word. And it completely defines what these guys are doing because they are deciding. I'm calling it, it is secular humanism. We are going to define what the country's religion will be without calling it a religion. It is a philosophy of life, and your parents are wrong, and we in the government schools are right. Yeah. I, you know, and, and I had a parent the other day who I was talking to whose son is <clears throat> in Portsmouth High School, and uh, in, in their health class or wellness class, whatever it was, uh, he was required to go to the guidance counselor or somebody to get a condom. Um, he was going to get credit for this. Uh, the class, the class. And he's a sophomore in high school, and they get extra credit if they go to the drugstore to get a condom. What? 
Yeah, and then the class that they were going to show, they showed how to put the condom on the sex toy. There's a slippery slope there. Yeah. <laughs> well, How you much know. extra credit can I get? <laughs> <laughs> how slippery does the sex toy have to be? Sorry. But, and, and, you know, does this go against what the parents believe? Uh, right. You know, well, as a, well, this parent in particular, she was, you know, because she has such a good relationship with her child, the child, it was actually the son that, that brought it home, brought the information home to the parent. And, and she decided, you know what, um, they had a good relationship. She talked to him. She let him go ahead and, and participate. But, you know, what about the child that, that maybe doesn't tell the parent? Or, you know, it, it, this this whole idea that, you know, here's a parent who, who had an issue with the non-transparency part of it, but still had no problem with what was being taught. Can, can we just not have our schools <laughs> act as if, they have to keep things hidden from parents. It's almost like this, you have to discover this, you have to uncover it, you have to be this detective to figure out what's being taught, what's going on in your school where you pay the taxes, you pay their salaries, it's your child going into the school, and yet you have to become this detective and this fighter and, and figure these things out, whereas I think in, in Victoria's bill, the 332, by making this transparent, to me, it's it's a way of bringing the school and the parents together to, to come to an agreement or to work together, not make this, you know, we're on these opposite sides, kind of fighting, fighting, fighting. You know, let's bring people together. It and would, if, it if, would if, certainly prevent phone calls like this. Your son comes home. They have a condom in their backpack. Why do you have a condom in your backpack? Yes. Homework. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. No, I, you know, you said working together. Yeah. The schools seem to be talking out of both sides of the yes. mouth. Yes. The statistics Absolutely. say that kids are more successful when the ki- when their parents are engaged, engaged in this. Right. But then, on the other hand. They don't want the schools, in a lot of cases, don't want the parents engaged. Right. And we saw that up in Guilford several times now. Yes. Where you've got an engaged parent, and they had them arrested. Yeah. In Timberline, they don't even want the school boards engaged. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's that's good. (laughs) But, 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 you know, the, the, the strange thing is, you know, once upon a time, they could have said, you know, if we're going to keep the parents informed, you know, newsletters, printed stuff, it's expensive uh, you know, we can't afford to do that. Well, now I'm presuming they have uh, a curriculum. They have a an agenda, a timeline for what they're teaching they through, each, the through, each, budget. through each semester. It's got to be in a computer somewhere in the school. It would cost zero to put that on the public website mm-hmm. or even a subscription website that the parents have passwords to. But uh, but no, they don't want to tell because they want to be able to do this stuff um, under the covers. We want well, more technology, just not that kind. Well, the the whole deal, for, and I am going to be crass and jaded at this point to Excellent. say, th- that's what we're all about here. Absolutely, we didn't have room for crass and jaded on there, but we can add it. Yes, is, is that jaded? <laughs> is, is that jaded helm? Uh, no. No. I think you know, Skip. I think you case. brought up the best point, though. Is it's that it's that? Do you really want parents engaged? Because you seem no. to be saying that, but then on the other hand, you're pushing them out. And you know, I'm going to give you an example. In Manchester, a few months ago, uh, Commissioner Barry and Tom Raffio, the, the chair of the school board. New Hampshire School Board came before the Manchester School Board, the local school board in Manchester, and during the discussion, because they were discussing discussing the test, the the Common Core test, uh, the commissioner had said something about the math because you know Common Core math, it's so convoluted, parents can't even help their kids with it. And one of the school board members, John Avard, had brought up you know that that. We, we're seeing these, these these math problems, and Commissioner Barry, and you know, I don't have her exact quote, said something to the effect that, you know, parents shouldn't have to work with their kids on math, <laughs> or something something along that line, and um, you know, he took he took offense to that because he's thinking, wait a second. You know, this is something that we should be able to sit down with our kids and work with them. And then Robin Dunphy, who who is now on the uh, Manchester School Board, she brought that exact point up, Skip. She said, you know, on one hand, you're basically, and, you know, I'm not quoting them. I'm just summarizing them, paraphrasing. That, paraphrasing. Um, on one hand, you're, you're saying that you want parents engaged. But then on the other hand, you're making it very clear through the standards, the curriculum, the testing, whatever, that, no, 
we don't want really we really don't want the parents i mean you're saying one thing but you're doing the other exactly I, what you said and i think history shows that for thousands of years it's always been the parents that have had the primary responsibility for educating yes. their kids in everything and it wasn't until the industrial age when the progressive idea of you know school classrooms and all of that really became de rigueur and the progressive has always been that we are only cogs in the social machine yes. and that yep. we have to be managed. Right. And I think what you're seeing is the left, to put it in the broader context, have used the educational system to achieve one of their aims, which is the destruction of traditional values, that, that parent-child relationship, uh, that government knows better. Government is your daddy and your mommy that you should be listening to us. And oh, by the way, in the grander political picture, as we talk about all the time, if you don't know your history, if you don't know the philosophy of the American history, then we can tell you whatever we want. I mean, you know who we are, you know what we're based on. And yet we put up posts with video after video of somebody just asking basic questions about our history, our philosophy, our constitution, the Bill of Rights, and hardly anybody can answer. Right. And Scary. this, I think, yep. is, again, one of those fundamental transformations. Because if you don't know where you've been, we can get you to go anywhere. Right. Right. And, <clears throat> you know, there was another bill this year. <clears throat> it was um, HB 206 or 207. Now I'm, now I'm forgetting which one. Whatever. Um, Ralph Baum, he sits in, uh, in the House Education Committee. He had introduced a bill that would require uh, parental uh, op, or opt in to any surveys given to students. Um, unfortunately, uh, Terry Wolf, who is a, uh, a representative out of Bedford, um, didn't want uh, an opt in. She wanted an opt out, and uh, so had opposed the bill in in committee. You got about and, twenty seconds. Okay. So, but th again, you know, we're trying. We're th these invasive surveys that are out there trying to gather information. You know, do you have a gun in the home? You know, what what is your sexual orientation? I mean, s invasive surveys like that too. They're in in the schools. I mean, you know, and and how about just letting parents see these? They you know, parents can't see them. There's just there's just so many issues that I, I think what you basically said highlights it. You know, do you really want parental involvement or don't you? And I think this governor is saying no. We, we don't we do not respect parental rights in the state. All right, we gotta go. Uh, thank you so much for coming in to talk to us. Yeah, we thanks appreciate for having, having you. We have to have you in more often, uh, even if it's by phone. But uh, this is Grok Talk. We'll be right back. This is the Coalition of New Hampshire Taxpayers. We're located at Eight North Main in Concord, New Hampshire. This is a repository for all things conservative and municipal. So if you have a problem in your town, your school, your budget committee, the right to know law, and now at the top of our list is voter fraud. You have a tip for us, some information for us, you want to join or help us out, cnht.org. 